Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to create a custom snap bar or a custom bottom sheet using a plugin called Flush Bar in Flutter. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing we have to do is to add the plugin. So open the pubspec.yaml file, go to the dependencies and add this plugin. I'll be providing the link to this plugin in the description. Okay, so once you install it, let's go back to a file. So I have an empty template here, which I have added in the main.dart file. Okay, so this file will be launching when we run the app. So basically this file has nothing, just a column widget, nothing else. Okay, so we are going to add something here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import the flush bar plugin. Okay. All right. Now we will write a function to create a simple snap bar using the flush bar plugin. Okay, so flush bar. So we have to give the title. Hello there. Message. How are you? Okay. So the next property is the duration. How long it has to stay in the screen. So duration. Let's give it in seconds. Three. And the flush bar position let's set it to top and show it so make sure you have the right context okay so let's create a button an outline button with text show flush bar and one press with the button let's call the function normal and pass in the proper context okay all right now let's run the app and see okay now let's change the top to bottom okay so now it appears from the bottom all right now let's add one more property the flush bar style so let's make it look like a snack bar okay so now it is grounded all right if you want to listen to the status changes of the snack bar like the showing hiding etc so you can add the on status change property and you can listen to each status change so switch status case so flush bar status dot let's say showing let me copy that second one is is appearing third one is hiding and dismissed all right now let's add some print statement inside each case so the first one is showing second one is appearing third one is hiding and the fourth one dismissed okay so let's open the terminal the console okay the deeper console okay so it's showing up let me show that again okay all right so that's how we can listen to state changes of a flush bar okay so now let's create a custom snack bar so let me copy the normal function and paste it again and remove the on status changed and let's customize it let me say custom okay and we are going to add some additional properties so reverse animation curve let's set it to curve start decelerate and the forward animation curve let's set it to curve start elastic in out and the background color i'm setting it to red next is box shadows so that's an array let's set it to blue color so colors dot blue with a value let's say 800 okay the offset let me set it to 0 and 2.0 okay and the blur radius to 3.0 now let's set another property the background gradient 
with a linear gradient colors colors dot blue gray okay and the next color let's set it to green okay so the next properties is dismissible I'm going to set it to false and let's add an icon so icon I can start check okay and a color so color start yellow okay and the next property is the main button so let's add a flat button and on press of the button we will be dismissing the flush bar okay so let's uh, leave it empty for now and the child is a text so let's say the button text is done okay so give it a style let me give color as colors dot blue okay and if you want to show a progress bar you can have that as well with show progress indicator okay and the next one is progress indicator background color so you can set to any color you want so colors dot uh, blue gray okay so we have uh, pretty much everything to create a custom flush bar okay so let me add one more button and make the button text as show custom flush bar and call the custom function okay so when you click that you will see a custom flush bar okay so we have the icon the text everything customized okay let me change the color of the button to white if you click the done button it's not closing but it's closing because we have set the duration to three seconds right so let's write the code to close the flush bar okay so let's create a variable for that and assign it and one click of the done button let's call flush bar dot dismiss so you can have optional parameters there let's uh, discuss that later okay let's see let's restart the app and see what's happening click on done button okay so now it's dismissing properly or click on the button right okay now let's create a flush bar with some input field in it okay so let's uh, write a new function get form field so I'm going to return a text form field from this function okay now to get the text from the text form field we need a text editing controller so let's set the controller and set the initial value to null so let's give it a style with the color white maximum length of 100 maximum lines 1 and a decoration input decoration with fill color white okay and an icon so let's set the icon to label color of the icon is green okay and a border a helper text and a helper style a label text okay a label style let's set it to gray so now we have a basic text form field now let's write another function to create the custom flush bar with this form field okay so the function name is with input field and pass in the context okay now we need some more variables so let's create another flush bar variable but here we will specify the type of the data that we are expecting back when the flush bar is dismissed okay so we are expecting a list of strings okay so the next variable is a global key form state so this is for the form so the input fields 
should be inside a form. Okay, so let's create a global key for that. Now we need one more variable, the form itself. So let's name it user input form. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to a function with input field. Plus bar. And that will be list string. So we are expecting a list of strings back. Set the position to bottom and style to grounded. A reverse animation curve, curves dot decelerate, and a forward animation curve, curves dot elastic in. Okay, and the user input form. So that's a form widget with key, the form key, and a child, which is a column widget with main axis size minimum, cross axis alignment, center, and the children. So let's add our form field there. And the next child, so I'm going to add a button at the bottom right. So I'm adding an align widget with alignment bottom right, which has a padding child with a padding of 20, which has a child, which is a black button, child, text, I'm going to say done. And now I'm going to set the button a rounded tree with border radius 15 and color let's set it to white colors dot white and the text color colors dot red and a padding of let's say six okay and on press of the button we will dismiss the flush bar. So when we dismiss, we are going to send back the value from the text form field. So we can get it using controller.text and let me send one more value. Since it is a list array, you can send any number of values. So call dot show and dot then. So there we will get the result whichever we are sending uh, through dismiss okay so i'm checking if the result is not null we're going to get the user input so result zero is a controller dot text and result one is world now let's add one more button in the ui and call this function okay so let me say with the input field and call our function. Now let's add one more uh, text widget which we can use to show the value from the input field uh, that is coming after the flush bar is dismissed. Okay, so let's say it the variable input value and add user one plus user input two. Let's concatenate those two strings and show it in the text widget okay so when we click the button you can see the text form field in the flash bar okay so let's type in something let me try that again so hello so when you click the done button so nothing is happening so let's see what is the issue here Okay, so I forgot to initialize the controller. So, okay, so let me try that again. Hello, so when you click the done button, okay, so still there is some issue. Let me check that. Okay, so in the deeper console, it's saying dismiss was called on null. 
okay we forgot to initialize the variable flush bar too okay so let's try that again okay let me restart the app okay clear the console hello and button okay so when it is dismissed we are getting the list of strings back and we are concatenating the values and showing in the text widget okay so let's make the function asynchronous so the button will be more responsive okay so those were some of the things that you can do with Ashwa, but you can do more i'll be providing the link to the github repository in the description okay so that's all in this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye